Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a cool sort of glitchy rhythmic LFO effect that I like to use for synth pads and synth chord type instruments. Not keyboards, but purely synthesizer sounds. So first, let me show you what this effect sounds like up front, and then I'll show you how to create this effect. So it definitely has sort of an element of randomness to it, and that's because I'm automating the rate of the LFO within the modulator plugin, as well as the symmetry of the LFO. So first, let me explain what I've got going on here. These bottom three tracks are all just loops from Logic's loop library, and then up at the top, I just have an ES2 synth, just one of the presets. It's the filter passages preset, and you can see that the cutoff frequency of the second filter is being automated and I'm blending this about 50 50 so I'm hearing a little bit of the unaffected synth as well as some of the LFO affected synth as well however you can do this with any third-party instrument or logic instrument you like as long as it has parameters that you want to modulate so what I'm going to do to start from scratch is I'm going to get rid of all of this automation that I have here on this track that's controlling the effect and I'll reset everything to start from scratch so you can follow along so I'll do that off screen now, originally when I planned on making this video, I thought that I was going to use the enveloper to control the LFO, but it turns out that learning a plugin parameter within the modulator MIDI effects plugin is not possible. So I can't assign the envelope to the LFO rate. So instead we have to draw in these parameters with automation. But first let's assign the LFO to the effect within the synthesizer. So again, I want to assign this to the filter cutoff knob here. So what I'll do is just click here where it says two and then select learn plugin parameter and then click on the parameter that I want to learn. So now I just have a triangle wave filter sweep. And then you have to choose what LFO shape you want. I'm gonna go with a square wave, but I'm gonna smooth out the square wave quite a bit. And then you have to select a starting rate. So I'm gonna go with something pretty high. I'll go with 30 second note triplets. And now the next step is to automate the actual rate of the LFO. So you can do that by pressing A. This will bring up automation. And then on the synthesizer track, you just click here and you'll see that the modulator is an automatable plugin. So I'm going to choose the LFO rate here. And now what I can do is draw in automation for the rate. Or you could do it in real time, but I'm gonna show you how to use real time automation with the symmetry parameter in just a bit. Now I want each of the chords to start off with this really fast, pulsing, glitchy effect, and then slow down into sort of a resting point. So I've got three chords here. The third chord's really short, so it's pretty much just gonna be like a 16th note pulse, whereas these first two chords, I have a bit more freedom to start fast and then gradually slow down. So I'm just gonna click to start adding automation. The next thing I wanna do is I want my automation to snap to the grid. So up here in the snap menu, you don't actually have to select a snap mode here. I am using beat, but that's not going to affect the automation snap. But if you go down to Snap Automation, make sure that Active is turned on. And you can select a specific snap value if you want. I'm just going to use Automatic. And then I'm going to click. And then now I can snap my automation to the grid lines. So I'm going to pull this down so it stops on an eighth note. Now you might be thinking, how do I create another point that just goes straight up from this point? Well, if you use your marquee tool, you can drag over an area and click and drag up, and it'll create this sort of stepped automation where one point ends immediately before the next one starts. So I'm gonna have this start back on 32nd note triplets again, and once again, it'll go down to eighth notes.
And you know what? I think on this last one, I'm going to change it over to 16th notes. So we'll start on 16ths and then ramp down. And the trick here is to use the automation curve tool to change the shape of the automation. So with this, you can click and drag up or down to create logarithmic or exponential shapes, or you can drag left or right to create two different S-curve shapes. So I'm gonna go with a couple S-curve shapes here and here, just very gentle S-curves. And then for this one, I think I'm gonna go with like a, and I'll add a bit of a logarithmic curve to this one. Now what I can do at this point, if I don't wanna to have to copy this over, if it's all the same region, all you have to do is just drag over the first region, hit Command R a few times to repeat it, and it'll copy over that automation. Now the next step is to automate the symmetry. Now the reason why I'm automating the symmetry is the further over to the right, the smoother the effect is gonna get, and the more over to the left, the more short and pointed the effect. So at the beginning of each chord, I want the effect to be more short. And then as I get to the end of each chord, I want to roll back the symmetry and make the effect a bit more smooth. Now, this is something I could do just by drawing in the automation, but I think here it might be better to just use real-time automation and, and perform this in with my mouse or a MIDI controller or a control surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the automation mode from read over to a live automation mode. I'm just gonna use latch for this. And all you have to do is press play and start moving the parameter. So this may take a few tries to get right. And I think what I'm gonna do is write in some automation for two of these regions, just so there's a little bit of variation and then I'll copy paste those two regions. So let's try that again. Okay, so I got a shape I think I like. I'm just gonna close out the automation, delete these last two regions, and then once again, drag over both of these and press Command R to repeat, and it also repeats that automation. Now that I've got the automation drawn in, I can change this back to read mode. And you wanna make sure you do that because if you don't, you can accidentally draw in some additional automation. Now from here, you can further customize the sound by playing around with the smoothing parameter, playing around with the output level, playing around with the offset. So these are all things that will shape the tone. And if you wanted to go really crazy, you could even draw in automation for these parameters as well. And obviously you can dial in any settings you like in your synthesizer or choose a different preset to further customize the sound. So let's see what this sounds like with the rest of the instruments back in. So that's how you can create a rhythmic LFO effect using the Modulator MIDI Effects plugin in Logic Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.